Hey y'all, what's up? Hey, this video is gonna be on the on the barrel smoker I've been talking about here lately. Uh, the one I did the burn box for. And I went ahead and got a couple things done uh, yesterday. I just got back home today from the farmer's market. And I know somebody asked me to do a, videos on, a video on the farmer's market, but I'm going to try to get it next weekend or the weekend after. I didn't have a whole lot of stuff out there. I had a few things. And uh, I just I didn't have time to get a lot of stuff done because I've been building so many fire pits and stuff lately. But uh, I went ahead and got a couple things done on this thing. And now I'm going to try to finish it out. i got to get this thing done. Guys, put a deposit on it. He may be watching this video. If you're watching it, hey, this is it. This is yours. Uh, so I'm going to get this thing knocked out. Between uh, it's Saturday evening now. Hopefully by Monday, I'll have the thing wrapped up. So uh, let me show you what I did so far on it. You can see I went ahead and got the barrel. I put the stand on it. I put the wheels on it. I put the burn box on it. That's the down there is the basket for the burn box. I went ahead and got the burn box mounted on it. And like I say, it was, I just went ahead and got some stuff done. I was trying to upload the last video while I was doing this. And uh, it was waiting on that. It was taking forever. Sometimes out here in these woods, our, our internet don't work so good. But uh, now it's a matter of getting the door cut in. I got a line. I don't know if you, yeah, you can see that line. I got a line drawn on for the door. So we need to get that done. I got to get, uh, I believe he wanted two racks in it. Got to get the smoke pipe put on. I'm going to put the smoke pipe over that. Cut that out and put that, put the smoke pipe there. And yeah, this is one of those barrels that blew up on me today. <laughs> or a while back. But I, like I said before, that was my fault, really. I didn't take the time. I was in a hurry and didn't think to clean the thing out. So uh, we're going to get to cutting this door out, try to get the door back on. That's where we'll start at. And this thing will have what's called tuning plates in it. If you're not familiar with tuning plates, once we get them in... I'll give you an idea how they work and everything, but a lot of people like them. They're good for, they're only for offset smokers, really. So let's get to cutting that door out and get something done. Alright y'all, I jumped ahead a little bit. I went ahead and got the pipe put on there. Uh, I got it burnt out. I put the handle on the door and some door stops on it. I had to jump ahead because I lost a lot of time yesterday. It's been raining. You can see I'm out here tracking around in the mud. It's just nasty out here right now. It'll be a few days before it dries. So I'm just trying to make up for lost time so I had to go ahead. So right now I'm going to try to focus on getting the tables put on. I don't have the stuff to put the racks in because I used it on that fire pit. So I got to go tomorrow and get the stuff for the racks, but we'll try to go ahead and get the tables on right now.
All right, y'all, I have finally got done with this barrel smoker. And, uh, man, I know I didn't get a bunch of video on it. It's just one, it was one thing after another going on during the time that I was building it. It's getting rained out. Had something stuck in my eyes. It was just, it was just, I don't know, a nightmare trying to get this thing put together. And it wasn't the build. It was just circumstances surrounding everything. So I didn't get a lot of the video, but I've got it done. I hadn't shipped it. And so I'm going to show you what it's looking like. That's the burn box that I did the video of. It has a four inch smoke pipe on it. There's two racks in it. I wish it wouldn't have been a barrel because I mean, with so much stuff going on, you can't really seal a barrel good without using insulation and all kinds of stuff. Stuff that would get quite a bit more expensive if you wanted to try to seal the thing up. But I mean, all in all, even with it being a barrel, it still came out real good. And one of the main things on here, You can see inside there. Let me get this rack out of here. It has tuning plates inside it. And what these are, you see it comes, it covers where, the, uh, where it comes into the, the heat comes into the chamber. And you can adjust these. I mean, you can take them out or whatever you want to do. But the objective is, instead of all your heat coming out here, you can have it more of it come where you want it to come at, if you see what I'm saying. There is a small gap around the sides because of the ridges in the barrels right there. And right there, you just can't, it'd be super hard to try to weld a solid around those things. And you'd probably end up burning the barrel up. If it wasn't a barrel, it'd be a little easier. But you can adjust those and have the heat come where you want. You can put, say, a little bit there. You can feel a breeze coming through it now, through those cracks. You know, adjust them a little bit here and a little bit there. You can take them out. If you want more, you can just overlap them like that. And I use 3 16 plate, but you don't have to use that. That's really overkill. It's just I had some already stripped down to uh, 5 and 3 eighths. So I used it. It's really a little too much. Eighth inch would be fine for it. It was just more convenient for me to cut those out at the time. And it just gives you better uh, heat control. If you can, yeah, you can see in a little bit, it's wide open in there. But anyway, man, that'll do it on this thing. I'll put the rack back in there. And I got to ship it out. This is the first big one that I'm actually shipping out. So it's going to be a learning process for me on that. But everything came together good. I like it. And there's side vents here. I think I said that earlier. But that's just for extra heat uh, air control if you want it. There's one on the other side and the big vent on the front. It just gives you more options. You could cook on the top of it. But anyway, man, that'll do it on that. If y'all like these type of videos, man, please like and subscribe. Sorry I didn't get more of the build on this one. It's just, like I said, it's been a headache. And uh, But y'all come back for the next one, man. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you then.